great. How fucking bougie is this? Like a gold fucking shower head? What the hell? Crazy. These are my tits before. Oh my god. Well, hello. Big titty bitch. <laughs> Look at the view. I like the view. You do? You're my best view. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the hospital. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is a So, how are you feeling? I'm okay. I just ate. And yeah, I'm in a little bit of pain, but I just took a shot. It was very <laughs> nasty. Oh, hopefully it's gonna oh, work soon. And I have my room all to myself, which is great. So I can actually sleep tonight. Oh my God. I have big titties. <coughs> I'm like up in my neck right now. Yeah, wait, maybe if I just get the right angle so, <laughs> Oops, so they can actually see Burn. what we're working with. The fuck? Oh my God, it's so weird. Suck them titties. <laughs> oh, I can't laugh. Laughing hurts. Well, if uh, YouTube doesn't work out, then only we fans, know what we can do. I'll put the link in the bio. <laughs> So I just got home and I'm in a lot of pain. I'm very swollen, especially, ew, there's a fly. This one's very swollen as you can tell. If I do this, it's so swollen. It hurts really bad. Um, car at home was really bad because I was in a lot of pain and I threw up, but luckily I had a thing with me, but my mom's gonna go pick up my meds now and I'm just gonna try to rest. But I'm in a lot of pain. Like just last night, it started swelling really bad and because of, ew, it's fly, what the fuck? Because of the swelling, it just hurts so bad. <sighs> Excuse the appearance. And I'm sorry if there's like background noise, but I have my door open to some fresh air. My hair is also like literally, you're gonna have to deal with it. I don't even care. It's been two days since my surgery. Um, I just showered for the first time. It was quite hard. My mom definitely had to help me. Um, and I'm so tired. I even threw up as well. Like I think it's from the, um, the morphine and stuff, like the painkillers just made me really nauseous and I threw up a little, but I wanted to give you a quick little run through of what it was like when I got there. So 
I filmed the room. It was like so bougie, so pretty. And then they like checked me in and everything. Um, I went to this one room where my surgeon came and he um, like drew on my chest and everything. I'm gonna do a more detailed video, so don't worry about that. But I just wanna give you a quick little run through. Then I went into surgery. I was put under full anesthesia, which I've had it done three times before, so it wasn't really scary to me. It's kind of nice because you just go to sleep and then you wake up and it's done. Um, woke up with a bit of pain. It wasn't too bad. It was mostly just uncomfortable. And I feel like the first night, like that night before going to sleep, I was doing okay. Like it wasn't too bad. If you follow me on my Instagram, you would have seen because I was like so hyped. Um, and then during the night, I started swelling really bad. And that's what created most of the pain. I was in a lot of pain the first night. I didn't sleep very well. Kept calling for them to give me more pain meds. And then in the morning, I got checked. Like the doctor checked and he was like, it's all good. And that I was allowed to go home. So then I ate something and I waited for my mom to pick me up. And um, I tried to like get ready and brush my teeth. But every time I'd get up, I'd become like really nauseous and dizzy. So that wasn't really possible. And I was in a lot of pain still. Uh, the drive home was so awful like i was in so much pain i cried the whole time and i threw up luckily i brought one of those like throw up bags from the hospital because or the clinic because i threw up like everything i'd eaten that day which wasn't much and like everything i drank was so disgusting but it was a relief but the drive home was like over an hour and it hurt so fucking bad so if you can find a clinic closer to your house so you don't have to drive for like 70 minutes definitely do that because the drive home was so bad my mom went and picked up all my meds yesterday as well so now that i'm taking those like it definitely helps with the pain and i slept a lot better last night i only woke up a few times but there wasn't too much pain i feel like the swelling's definitely still there but it's going down a bit it's not as uncomfortable anymore um and now i mostly just kind of have pain on my incisions everything else pretty good because like I had a lot of pain um, breathing as well, like on my chest, it was really, really painful, but I feel like now that has gone down so I can actually breathe normally, I think it's also because the swelling isn't as bad, but now I mostly just have pain in my incision and it kind of switches, my left boob was like the most painful for a while and now I'm feeling my right boob kind of hurting on the incision and um, incisions look good i think my right boob is a little bit bruised at the bottom but it's nothing too bad um and then i just went and took a shower my mom helped me and now i'm laying on the couch i slept on the couch as well last night and i definitely recommend one of these neck pillows because you have to like lay on your back but i'm like a stomach sleeper i sleep on my stomach or on my side but this way i can kind of sleep like this and it does help a lot so um it's a little update on how i'm doing i'll probably update you later today or tomorrow we'll see and um yeah i just have to say like the pain was definitely a lot worse than i expected but it's mostly because i was swelling really really bad and i'm sure not everyone has that because a lot of people told me like oh the pain isn't too bad it's just the incisions but like for me it was mostly like the swelling that really hurt me and at first i didn't even feel my incisions because everything else hurts so bad that the incisions weren't as painful but now i can feel them like sometimes they're just kind of stinging or burning or if i make a weird movement it kind of hurts but yeah i'm good now i'm just gonna relax a bit um i did take my meds before taking a shower so that most of the pain would be kind of like i don't know gone down a bit and i'm just gonna try to relax and sleep as much as possible luckily my mom's here to take care of me she's leaving tomorrow night um we're just gonna kind of see how i'm feeling if i really still need help then she's probably gonna go home and figure a way uh figure out a way to come back and stay with me again but i feel like i should be fine and if not maybe i can just have luca stay with me for a few days i don't think he'd mind that the next day i'm sorry about this angle it's not great um i'm about to actually go and look at all the questions you guys sent in for the q a that i'm doing 
still using this neck pillow because it's just so much more comfortable for me um so i'm feeling a lot better i took a shower by myself this morning which was definitely hard and i don't think i'm gonna be showering for the next few days when i'm by myself i think i'm just gonna be washing myself by the sink with like a washcloth because showering is very intense and it's very painful because when i take off the bra i obviously don't have any support and so i constantly have to like hold them and it's just like i don't know it's really painful with like the incision and stuff so i'm like kind of it's like kind of tense again so breathing's very hard i was able to poop a little bit this morning but it wasn't much so still very bloated and it hurts kind of like it's just uh, kind of bad and they gave me these like this like powder that you mix with water and i took three of them yesterday but i don't feel like it did much so my mom's actually just gonna get me some laxatives which isn't great but i'd rather just take one or two laxatives and be able to shit because like this is so awful she just left to um my uncle's birthday like he had like a little birthday lunch definitely doing better but still a lot and uh tomorrow i have to get my nails done i hope i can do it i think i will i honestly i don't know why but before i got the surgery obviously i thought i was gonna be like ready to do shit like really fast i can kind of get dressed by myself the only thing that was hard with this bra is like getting the straps on so my mom still needed to help me with that <sighs> i think if i just like wash myself for the next few days just like by the sink that i won't really have to fully take off the bra which is gonna help um i'm wearing the white one right now i put the black one in the laundry yeah that's it for now i'm gonna be going through all your questions and kind of organizing them because i want to film a q a tomorrow and do like a little um because like i don't want to forget about the pain and the experience i feel like if i wait too long with recording the q a then i'm gonna forget things so i want to do like a q a about the first few days and then i want to do an update three months from now who the fuck is that i, I swear i've had two people randomly text me the past few weeks and now someone else is texting me like who the fuck is this Ew, i'm gonna block him like what the fuck had this person text me before and I already blocked them very weird did my number get leaked or something okay i'm feeling pretty good so i wanted to get up and show you my boobs a little better again i'm very bloated oh, it's so dark i'm sorry it's like super gloomy today um i hope this lighting's kind of okay so this is i think my bra's a bit see-through this is what they look like right now they're still very like high up and very swollen and tense so it takes about three months for them to like drop they don't actually like drop but it's just like it has to kind of settle i had it put like behind my muscle like i think they call it dual plane or dual plane something like that um behind my muscle so that all needs to like heal first and it's gonna like go down like right now they're very much up and perky and like big and whatever but it's gonna settle down within like three months after three months that's when you see like the actual results but this is it right now i just took another one of those packets i really want to try to shit today i think i'm just gonna have my mom get me some laxative pills because dude i cannot do i haven't shit in like when did i shit last i think i think i haven't shit in four days well i shit a little bit this morning but it wasn't enough and I feel so like bloated and my stomach's like really hard and it doesn't look very bad, but it feels very like, you know, doesn't feel nice. So but the, these are my boobies right now, my chest holes. I'm feeling pretty good. I took my painkillers this morning with my breakfast and then like I think two hours ago, I took another oxycodone. I think that's how you pronounce it. That's like kind of like a morphine type of it's a drug it's like very strong but um it helps kind of take off the edge and i take it in between like my um the other painkillers that i take but i'm about to go make something to eat but i'm feeling pretty good it's definitely doing a lot better 
and especially as long as I keep on the bra like it just helps support everything and the only thing that's like mostly painful now is like the incision so if I make a weird movement or like this morning when I was trying to shower it hurts the incision like it's it stings and it burns really bad but yeah this is me right now just wanted to give you an update I'm gonna see if my mom can put like two braids in my hair because I'm not gonna be able to wash my hair for a bit um and I was thinking of just throwing on a wig with a hat for this week, like whenever I have to go out or like if I want to film something. Because I don't really have enough movement in my arms to like do crazy stuff with my hair. So I'm going to see if she can maybe pop two braids in my hair. Um, kind of the way that my sister did it, but just redo it because those braids um, came loose. But yeah, if you, I would suggest, I wish I kind of got braids before, but also like braids would be really heavy on my head. So maybe not. I won't really be able to wash my hair probably for the next week, maybe even two. And maybe I'm even going to have to have my mom come in and wash my hair or my sister. I don't think I'll be able to wash my hair myself. But I'm going to get my hair braided in two weeks. So either I'm not going to be able to wash my hair for two weeks and then I'm just going to have my mom or my sister wash and blow dry my hair before I get it braided. Or I don't know, I'll figure something out. But these are my titties right now. I've been doing a bit of laundry, which has been kind of nice. It's, I've just been feeling, I've just been feeling so useless, so it's nice that I can kind of move around and do things now. Um, definitely still taking it slow and not lifting anything heavy, but I feel like I can move more now, so that's nice. <clears throat> The next day i managed to kind of get ready i threw on a wig with a hat because i can't do my hair really i just heated up a bit of food oh my boobs are so tight right now I'm having like a hard time breathing it's really really annoying I feel like that's what bothers me the most is when it's like so tight i can't breathe but you know my dumbass made a nail appointment and I'm gonna go because, you know, might as well. And I think I will be fine because my painkillers are starting to kick in. So I think I'll be fine, but I shouldn't have done that. Don't make a no appointment like four or five days after your surgery. Also got my period last night, which totally ruined everything for me. <laughs> it makes me so emotional. Like I feel really emotional today. Oh my God, I feel like shit. Let me get myself together. So I'm actually editing the vlog and I'd filmed an update earlier today, but apparently my microphone wasn't plugged in. So I'm back here because I did want to give you guys an update and um, cause I haven't really vlogged this past week. The last day was on Monday when I turned off the camera and started crying cause I was on my period and I was so emotional. Um, I really took this past week to rest. I was, it was really hard you know, I was taking care of myself and it was very hard and I was I had a lot of moments where I cried, I was in a lot of pain, I was constipated. <laughs> it was very hard, but I'm actually today was the first day that I actually was able to get ready. I did my hair, I got somewhat dressed and I recorded a podcast episode with Luca. Like I actually feel a lot better today. Pain wise, it's not as bad anymore. Um, the only thing is everything still feels really tight, so it's just a lot of like discomfort. And it's starting to be a bit more itchy now, actually. Um, and then there's a little bit of pain on the sides, I feel like. And my nipples, they randomly will, like, start burning or, like, I don't know. It's, like, not a great feeling. But besides that, I'm actually doing really good. And I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that. Um, I am going to end the vlog here because I want to start a new one for next week. But I'm doing a lot better. I, last night I ordered a bunch of new clothes because I knew that most of my tops aren't going to fit anymore. Like I need to get a bunch of new basics. Haven't really looked at it yet, but kind of excited for that. I also have like a bunch of bras that I like barely ever wore that I think I'm just going to like give away to people. Um, I'll probably like post it 
on my story sometime soon if you're like a 32b keep an eye out for my story because i have a bunch of bras that are just like basically new maybe worn like once um that i don't i feel like throwing it out is just unnecessary and i'm sure there's a bunch of people out there that would want some bras so i'll probably just give those away um yeah these are my tatas right now let me show you with the bra on it's a bit better they're a lot less swollen as they were before they're starting to kind of like drop a little bit more um this is it from the side i think they look really really good and they're only gonna get better from here i still feel like with the shirt on it looks kind of weird it's like i'm like this and like my tits are like up my neck but i just have to get used to it but from the side it looks really natural i do th i'm very happy with the size that i got um i'm expecting it to be kind of like a d double d i think still a 32 32 d double d i think because the 32 is like my circum what's that called i don't know i was gonna say circumcised that's not the word i'm kind of cold let me put on my but yeah just wanted to let you know that i'm doing a lot better and um i'll be back with a new vlog next week um q a is already up on my channel if you want to know more details about everything i answered basically all the questions that i could answer up until now and then three months from now i'm going to be back with an update um just really excited and i think the worst part is the fact that i can't do shit like i can't even clean my apartment i oh my god it's so annoying i can do a little bit of laundry and a little bit of my dishes like put, put loading my dishwasher and stuff but i'm just so like limited in my mobility and i hate it and it's like it almost feels like, feel, it almost feels like, it almost feels like, Oh my god, I can't fucking talk. It almost feels like I can't, like I won't ever be able to do normal things again, which I know it's not true, but like when you're just like laying down for a full week and you can't do shit, it's like, is this my life now? Like, <laughs> and also I wasn't able to get ready really, so I felt kind of like crappy because like you just kind of look your worst and you feel your worst, but today was the first day that I kind of was like, okay, I'm still here we are not like my life isn't over and soon enough i'll be able to enjoy my tits i just have to be a bit more patient but i mean today's it's been a week and, and a day so eight days total so i feel like day eight for me is the first day that i'm actually able to get up kind of get ready and do some things do you have to say going outside and walking outside for some reason makes the pressure on my tits so much worse I don't know if that's maybe my anxiety because like I was I'm kind of anxious to go outside at the moment it's a little scary I don't know I think that's just maybe my anxiety that's making it worse but yeah day eight is like the first that I'm actually able to get up and do something I'm not taking heavy painkillers anymore I only take paracetamol um and I take ibuprofen here and there I think I'm gonna stop taking it because I don't think I need it anymore um, but yeah, my battery's died, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in my next vlog. I love you guys, and bye!